Alright, what's up guys? This is Legion458 doing my final video on these two very nice, very good, very sweet and very fast hoppers. We're going to start off, of course, summing up the rotor. Okay, rotor, very fast, very easy to pick apart, very reli reliable, reliability, oh my gosh. This thing is the most reliable thing ever. You can, you know what you can do with this? You can freaking pitch it at baseball, you can pitch it and a guy hits it full strength at the bat, the shell will crack. If you press the button, it will work. Try it. It will work. Alright, so let's, let's go over it. Um, pretty good feeding system. Very good, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I have given it a bad rap with all the, you know, it jams. It jams with old paint. If you're using a good, decent, great paint, you know, Diablo Formula 13, Evil, you know, my favorite, uh, pro, uh, pro caps, um, that kind of stuff. So, if, you, if you're using that, it won't jam. It'll jam, I mean, no, it's not gonna, of course it's going to jam. It's going to jam very on occasion. It's not going to jam all the time. Alright, so, this. Very nice, very sleek, very sexy. Um, good feeding system, fast. It'll keep up with anything out there. You know, if you're shooting 40, 50. Well, 50 is a little pushing it, but, you know, 20, 30, 35, 40 balls per second. If you're shooting on top of a Slater, sorry, proper, proper lingo, S L A R. If you're shooting on top of that, the sound activation should keep up. It'll feed as fast as you shoot, pretty much. It's not like there's a ground line with it. You are a fit, it shoots as fast as you shoot. If you're gonna cycling at 65, 65 cycles per second, it's gonna, sh it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be making that, it's gonna ma be making it turn 65 cycles, 65 balls per second. So, um, here comes, which one do I like more? Alright, so, which one of these do I like more? Now, my entire team, everyone knows me as a die-hard Halo fanatic. Like, I would shoot you in the face if you said, the Empire B is better than the Halo. Which one do I like more? Here comes the moment of truth. When I was shooting with these, which one I like better? Here comes the suspense. Alright. I like the prophecy better. Not to say that the, ro the rotor is a bad hover, but I like the prophecy better. The reason being is I love how balanced it was. That's the only thing that changed my... I was, like, when I first started filming this, I was going to say the rotor is better. But no, actually when I think of it, this is a lot better. It was a lot more balanced. It sits more flush on my gun. It was perfect, you know. They, the design of it was really good. The rotor, just like, pre pretty much like a magnet. It's a little bit back heavy because all the electronics are right here, right here in the back. And there's not a lot in the front. I mean, hold on. Hold on a second. Let me put paint in it. Let's see. Okay, when I put paint in this, it balances out a little bit better, but I can still feel that as soon as I do this, it's going to tilt to the back. If I do it like this, it's going to turn it tilt to the back. So, let's see if the prophecy, if the prophecy stays balanced. Now that's balance. It's perfect. Like, the weight distribution is perfect on it. It is perfect. Now something I didn't talk about in the regular shows, the capacity is a lot larger for the prophecy. This this thing can hold one and three quarter pods. This thing will hold one and a half. So there's, there's your numbers. So that's 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 pretty much it. This is the this is the hopper I love a lot more. I mean Yes, this thing has its perks of feeding 50 balls per second. Really, no one ever 
ever will be shooting that at any tournament or any rec ball scene. They just, refs will not allow it. This is what you need and this is what you want. If you, um, I believe, I don't remember your name, but you asked me which one would I choose. Well, if you're a diehard fan, Halo fan, if you love what, what we all come to love with the Halo, get this. Yes, yes, this is a lot easier to take apart and you can do it in six seconds, but really, all you really need to do, and I swear to God, I swear to you that all you really need to do with this offer is... All you ever need to really do with this hopper in order to change the batteries, clean it, is this. That's it. So, taking a part of it for cleaning and taking out batteries, this is easier to do than it is with the rotor. It is. So, that's just my, my two cents. I hope this, you know, hope this helps with anything. You know, you have, it, have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, Subscribe, because I'll have a lot more out. Well, thanks, this is Legion458. Bye-bye.